Updated Friday, the 25th of May 2018, 1341 World Rugby is to trial two new low tackle laws to combat the risk of head injuries. The trials will take place during the Under-20 Championship in France between the 30th of May and the 17th of June and the Under-20 Trophy. A statement from the sport's governing body said, the acceptable height of the tackle will be lowered through revised on-field and off-field sanctions, encouraging players to bend at the waist when attempting a tackle. While current sanctions around high tackles are still in place, additional deterrence and a match ban for two incidents of high tackles will be tried out, in addition a moderated law will take effect for the under-20 trophy, which lowers the tackle from the shoulder line to the nipple line, the trials were approved after a study of 1,500 games that concluded that the risk of injury to both players from a high-contact tackle, when the tackler is upright, is 4.3 times greater than a low-contact tackle. Ireland share Pool C of the Under-20 Championship with France, Georgia and South Africa and will face the hosts on the opening day of the tournament in Perpignan. All participating teams had previously been advised of the changes, this trial is designed to remove the tackler's head from a high-risk situation through a deterrent based on a combination of law amendment, sanction and technique change, said World Rugby Chief Medical Officer Dr. Martin Raftery, the statement read, tackles that increase the risk of head injury will be cited. The match citing commissioner will issue a high tackle warning to the tackler who is deemed to be upright not bent at the waist. A tackler will be deemed to be upright when they are in an approximate upright standing position. They have made no clear attempt to lower the height of contact with the ball carrier to avoid the head or shoulders of the ball carrier. There is no knee flexion and minimal bending at the waist which brings the head into a dangerous position for collision with ball carrier's head or shoulder. The high tackle warning will be issued in one of four types of incidents, all high contact penalties, irrespective of sanction, during match is all. Tackles that result in any irrespective of whether the tackler or ball carrier high tackles that are missed during the match accidental clear and obvious head-to-head -head and head-to-shoulder contact sanctions, the high tackle warning is issued only if the tackler is upright and there is clear and obvious head contact for either player each high tackle warning carries one strike when two strikes two high tackle warnings have been issued, a player will receive a one-match suspension, a right to appeal will operate, high tackle warnings also form part of the usual accumulation of sanctions, including citing commissioner warnings for the World Rugby U20 Trophy, times and dates TBC, the following will apply. Law 9.13 The acceptable height of the tackle is reduced from the line of shoulders to below the nipple line. A player must not tackle an opponent early, later dangerously. Dangerous tackling includes, but is not limited to, tackling or attempting to tackle an opponent above the nipple line even if the tackle starts below the nipple line.